Everyone knows when you put Doritos in a grinder and you spin it, a potato pops out, right? Happy Halloween. Happy spooky time for y'all. Oh boy. Obviously, this is a very weird time for everyone, and it carries a very different energy. So, on the last day of the last month, before hell on earth possibly fully erupts, let's talk about an October surprise that's more relevant to us. The advent of the Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network has been around for about 28 years now, as its birthday falls on the first of this month every year. Obviously, the network has been a tour de force in the last decade, but its brand, as small as it stacked up to the other two, has always made waves throughout the animation industry here and around the world. They may not have uber-successful child stars or annual live events, but as far as cartoons go, they usually bring the thunder, and I wanted to appreciate that while it's still in its prime. Sort of. Especially recently, it's not been easy to give them some love given some recent decisions or remain hopeful of the future considering the recently installed corporate pressure applied. So allow me to try and do my part in playing hype man and alert you to a Cartoon Network property you don't hear about from a feed that doesn't even register. Today, we gotta take a trip down under so we can have a howling good time with none other than Monster Beach. Initially, this video was supposed to be the most basic but encyclopedic guide to every Cartoon Network feed around the world ever in the history of history. I know, so impressive. There's a lot of good content hidden in plain sight, stuff that would probably be refreshing to many people, even in the wake of the current lineup. Now, its Australian feed is lumped into this socio-geographical grouping called Cartoon Network Asia Pacific, where top-down countries from mainland China to New Zealand are all accounted for. The original content commissioned by countries inside of it are circulated all within, even consumed in other regions like Europe, Middle East, and Africa. So an organic product of an Indian studio commissioned by a local network looks like the product of the whole region. 